Welcome to Happy Happy Learning Tutorial. So today, this is a slow click tutorial where I have done one of the quick start labs. How to read an uh, unstructured data, which is a PDF file, using the Python UDF, which is a uh, user defined function. So first of all, we have used the segment rule. Then we have created or replaced, we have created the database as PDF and we have created the warehouse as quick start. Then we have used the database PDF and schema as public. So you can see it here. So this is my database PDF and this is my schema information which is by default schema and this is the public schema. So after this we have created one state where we have all the PDF files. So create or replace stage as PDF external state since my files are placed on S3 in this quick start lab. So I have given the path for this URL and then we have enabled the directory as true. Now if I want to see the stages I can run this command see my stages so it will show me okay the stage has been created successfully with the name this now I want to see all the files present in this stage on the external s3 part so I can just use the list command as ls and it is going to show me all the files present here with the last modified timestamp in this call okay now we are creating a python function okay not a java this is a python function in this demo, I am using a Python function. So, I am creating or re create or replace function Python read PDF, which is going to read my PDF. So, I have given it a meaningful name here and then uh, passing the parameter as file, which is of course going to be a string. So, this is not the file, basically the file name, which is of the data type string. And then what do I want from this function? I want to return this string. Okay, so I said return string. In which language we are writing it in Python and runtime version is 3.8. And now I am using the package which is Snowflake Snowpark Python. This is one and the second one I am using is PYPDF2. So this PYPDF2 is Python PDF which helps us to read the Python file. And handler we are using for reading that file. So this is the function definition. I am declaring the I am defining the function. So from PYPDF we are importing the library. From this package, I am importing PDF file reader and then from snowflake.snowpark.files from second package, we are importing snowflake file libraries. Now, there is another called input output stream, input output package, import byte, uh, byte input output. So, bytes input output basically reads the byte, scans your data in bytes, whether it is unstructured data in images or in uh, text like PDFs or documents, it helps us to read that data. We have imported this library as well and now read that PDF file path with Snowflake. First I am going to open that file using dot open function. I am going to provide the file path as file and I am going to store it in a variable called f by tio file dot read all. It will read all the information inside that document and store it in PDF reader with the help of this library which is PDF file reader which is going to read this data after it is opened. Now I am going to put that whole text and then for each page in PDF reader dot pages whole text i want that whole text plus page and i want to extract that information after reading that information so i'm going to use another function called extract and then return the whole text so this is my whole function so if you run this function you get to see your file has been created so if if i run this once i've uh, created that function it says um, the function has been created now you can read your file in your invoice so in your table okay so if I select this, select star from Python, parse PDF using the stage, it is reading, it is actually reading that parsed Python file. Now we have created a table. So in this table, uh, we are just using relative path, which you can see it over here. Now we need to parse that file. So for parsing, what we have done is we have applied certain regular expressions uh, to parse the data into a meaningful information. And then if you see it here, return certain information. So this file is already created. And now if you see this file, actually this is already created. So we can just view the fields now. So the data is already loaded and uh, extracted from this PDF into uh, columns. Now if, if we do some dashboarding over here, I mean analysis, so we can just perform certain aggregate functions like I have sum of quantity and item name and then I am going to use total cost and item names. 
So that is how we use it.